Good evening. Please remain standing for the present presentation of callers, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Melissa Perez. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Dear parents, family members, administrators, faculty and staff, and the class of 2011, welcome to the North Dallas High School graduation ceremony. Class of 2011, 275 of you will walk across this stage this evening. You have raised the bar for those who follow you at North Dallas High School. You and your parents should be extremely proud of all you have accomplished. All of us who have had the privilege of working with you are extremely proud of you. Congratulations to the class of 2011. Estimados padres, familiares, señor Leslie Williams, administradores de nuestra zona escolar, personal administrativo y docente, y por supuesto, la generación de 2011. Bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación de North Dallas High School. Generación de 2011, 275 de ustedes subirán al escenario esta noche. Ustedes han elevado el estándar para las siguientes generaciones de North Dallas High School. Ustedes y sus padres deben estar 
extremadamente orgullosos de todo lo que han logrado. Todos nosotros, los que hemos tenido el privilegio de trabajar con ustedes, estamos extremadamente orgullosos de sus logros. Felicidades a la generación del 2011. At this time, LaShawn Stewart, Senior Class Secretary, will read the statement of the court. Aquí a continuación, LaShawn Stewart, Secretaria de la Generación de Graduados, leerá las expectativas de comportamiento. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. We ask that you treat this exercise with the utmost respect. Noisemakers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractors are not conducive to maintaining a di the dignity and grandeur of this event. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you. Gracias de antemano por su cooperación para que esta sea una ceremonia de graduación digna. Pedimos que su comportamiento en esta ceremonia sea de supremo respeto. Abucheos, silbatos, gritos o cualquier otra distracción no conducen a mantener la dignidad y grandeza de este evento. Su cooperación ayudará a que cada estudiante disfrute de su, genera, de su graduación la mejor manera. At this time, our senior class president, Brenda Lopez, will offer the opening remarks. Hi, my name is Brenda Lopez, the senior class president. I would like to introduce the other seated on the stage evening. Ms. Dina Scanilla, principal of North Dallas High School. Mr. Reginald Samuel, associate principal of North Dallas. Assistant principals, Audrey de la Cruz, Katrina Dixon, and Lin Lindy Perkins. Also with us on stage are the class of 2011 officers, class vice president, class secretary, class treasurer, class historian, and we also have two highest ranking members of the 2011 class. Uh, hi, my name is Brenna Lopez, your senior class president, parents, teachers, families, and friends. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight at the North Dallas High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2011. Tonight we celebrate all the hard work we've done and of everything we have accomplished. Tonight is our night to say to the world we have the courage to succeed and dedication and perseverance to make our dreams come true. We stand here before you as proud adults, part of what we have already done and of everything else we plan on doing. Without the love and support of our teachers, none of us will be here today. Because they have never given up on us, we have the faith in ourselves. They, push, they pushed us farther than we thought we could go, and we have more strength to set higher goals. Because they encourage us to dream, we have the confidence to fulfill our dreams. As we depart North Dallas High School to build our success in the world, we are proud, excited, and maybe a little scared. But thanks to the faith and patience of our wonderful teachers, family, and friends, now we can say we did it. Congrats to our class. At this time, I would like to introduce the second highest ranking student who will graduate as the salutatorian for the class of 2011. This student will receive a medal on behalf of the school. It is with great pride that I present the salutatorian for the class of 2011, Priscilla Monroy. Ahora me gustaría presentar el estudiante que alcanzó el segundo lugar más alto, quien se graduará como salud tatoria. Esta persona recibirá una medalla de parte de la escuela. Es con gran orgullo que presento a la segunda estudiante 
más destacada de la generación del 2011, Priscilla Monroy tiene la palabra. Hello. How about that ride in? I guess that's why they call it North Dallas. Ha 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 ha. You guys may not know this, but I consider myself a bit of a loner. And I, te I tend to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. But two years ago, I met you all. And I knew at that point that my wolf pack grew by 274. And at that point, there was 275 of us in that wolf pack. <laughs> but on a more serious note, good evening, North Dallas faculty, staff, family, friends, and my fellow graduates. It is such an unexpected honor to graduate, to stand before with you all today, a privilege that I would have never imagined to possess. When Mrs. Ganilla gave me the assignment of writing the speech, I was completely perplexed about what it should be about. So I stood in front of my computer screen, watching YouTube video after YouTube video, yahooing and Googling. And still, I had nothing. I did notice one thing, though. In every speech, everyone talked about how close their class was, how united they stood. But I cannot say the same about our class. We've all been too busy growing as individuals and finding ourselves, which is exactly what we should be doing, searching for the bigger picture. Because high school just brings us one more step up this never-ending ladder. As I stand and look at all of my graduates smiling and anxious faces, I see one word written on everyone's mind, and that word is the word success. But now it is time that we let go of the hands of our school and start the journey alone. Class of 2011, Every single one of you has potential that is beyond anyone's belief, and I am certain of the fact that every single one of you will become a success story. I want to thank all of the parents who are standing in the crowd today, because if it wasn't for any of you, none of us would be here. I want to thank the one teacher who had the most impact on my high school education, the teacher who runs on Diet Coke. Thank you, Mr. Ellis, for teaching us the secret of love lays on one simple equation and giving us advice that will last a lifetime. Graduates, as you all know, yearbooks didn't happen for us this year. So I ask all of you to do what Ms. Whiffen always taught us in Carpe Diem, seize the moment, just for now. Because years from now, high school will be nothing but a very opaque memory in all of our minds. And I leave you all with the words of Mark Twain. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines, catch the trade winds in yourselves, explore, dream, discover. Congratulations, class of 2011. By the way, I just won $100. It is also with great pride that I present the highest ranking student who will graduate as valedictorian for the class of 2011, Montserrat Moncada. As valedictorian, she will also receive a medal on behalf of the school and a scholarship from the state of Texas toward any tuition in any state supported college or university. Montserrat Moncada will now address the class of 2011. También es con orgullo que presento a la estudiante que obtuvo el más alto rango y se graduará como valedictoriana de la generación del 2011, Montserrat Moncada, como la estudiante más destacada. Ella también recibirá una medalla de parte de la escuela y una beca del Estado de Texas para la colegiatura en cualquier colegio o universidad financiada por el Estado. Montserrat Moncada tiene la palabra. Good evening, Principal Escanilla, faculty, guests, family, and fellow graduates. Directora Escanilla, 
facultad, invitados, familia y graduados. Hoy es un día muy especial. Hoy es el inicio de una nueva etapa en nuestras vidas que proviene de muchas metas y nuevos sueños que cumplir. Como los adultos que ahora somos, hemos sobresalido muchos obstáculos, hecho nuevas amistades que han crecido durante los años y hemos tomado decisiones firmes. El día de hoy daremos gracias a todas las personas que hicieron todo esto posible. Gracias a los maestros y maestras que nos educaron y nos trataron con cariño. Gracias a los padres por todo, por todo su apoyo, los consejos y la sabiduría que nos han dado. Sus palabras han hecho una muy grande diferencia en cada uno de nosotros. Gracias a todos y felicidades clase del 2011. Fellow graduates, we've made it. We have come a long way and are ready to continue traveling this journey. Some of you have stumbled upon the hardest obstacles, but you have overcome them all, which shows how strong and courageous you are. I am proud of every single one of you. It took effort, dedication, strength, guidance, and most of all, a great amount of whining just to get out of bed. Trust me, I too had a bad case of senioritis, but I do not regret any day. The tassel is worth the hassle. In our freshman through junior year, we had an outstanding principal, Dr. Hernandez. He shared with us words of wisdom, encouragement, support, and he reminded us how much he loved us. Dr. Hernandez was always there when we needed help. It didn't matter whether it was educational or personal. He really cares about us and makes us a priority. We lost him as a principal, but we gained a very special woman, Mrs. Canilla. We had trouble adjusting to her new rules and expectations in the beginning, and even had our arguments. But as time passed by, she too showed us how much she cares about us. Like a candle, a good teacher consumes himself to light the path for others. I want to greatly thank you all. Thanks to those teachers who will stack us up with homework, especially on the weekends. And to those who will call on us when we didn't know the answer. And when we did, we were completely invisible. Teachers who will give us surprise quizzes, wake us up with water squirts, and expect us to learn from the book. If we didn't learn it when they were teaching it, we certainly wouldn't understand it when Mr. Campbell, Mr. Tipler, or Mr. Simbal did. Thanks to those teachers who accepted our late work, answered every question we had, and kindly repeated what they had said five seconds ago. Thanks to those teachers who would stay after school or in the morning just to give us extra help. And to those teachers who will give us life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness projects. Teachers who will give us something to take home to think about besides homework. Those who encouraged us and gave us the sweetest and heartwarming compliments every time they saw us. And to those teachers whom we saw as a second mom or dad. Friendship makes me not want to end this chapter in my life. It is a great feeling to know that a friendship that seems so artificial in the outside is indeed warm, bright, and slowly growing in the inside. The two hardest things in life to say are hello for the first time and goodbye for the last. We are all going to say our goodbyes to the people we have known since elementary and the ones we have recently met, but it's only a goodbye for now. We will soon meet again with great stories to share. I have met the most wonderful and awesome people that I want to give a big thanks to tonight. I, one minus cosine, theta u, or some of you might prefer I, g, m1, m2, over r square u. That means I love you, by the way. Thanks to those who took up my time and brain cells when they asked for help. But to be honest, I enjoyed having my brain cells burn when bumping into each other so much. To those, more like just that one, who would sing and dance in every class period. But to be honest, I learned so many dance moves and gained patience. To those who would ask questions off topic just to kill time in class. Thanks, I learned so many out of school things, facts about my teachers, and had the greatest laughs. 
Some days, those laughs would just turn my day around. Thanks to those who trusted me, treated me with respect and care, and distinguished me for being myself and not for being number one. A friend is someone who accepts your past, believes in your future, and just likes you just the way you are. Thanks for the hugs that gave me strength, confidence, and helped me keep going when I was about to give up. Truly great friends are difficult to find, hard to leave, and impossible to forget. No matter what you accomplished, how smart or silly you are, I know you will all be successful in life. I always knew looking back on tears will make me laugh, but I never knew looking back on laughs will make me cry. We all make a wish at 11.11 when blowing the candles on our birthday cake and when we see a shooting star. We have so many wishes within ourselves, but tonight I only have one. I hope the days come easy and the moments pass low and each road leads you where you want to go. And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose, I hope you choose the one that means the most to you. And if one door opens to another door closed, I hope you keep on walking until you find a window. I hope you never look back, but you never regret are the ones who love you in the place you left. I hope you always forgive and you never regret and you help somebody in every chance you get. But more than anything, my wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. And while you're out there getting where you want to, I hope you know somebody loves you and wants the same things too. Yeah, this is my wish. Congratulations and good luck, class of 2011. Go! Go out there and make all your wishes come true. Thank you. We are pleased to have with us this evening as a distinguished guest, Mr. Mike Morath, representing Board of Trustees, District 2. Mike Morath took oath in May of 2011. He has had a passion for public education for years, is an avid reader of information about school reform, and believes firmly that our school system can be changed so that all of our students succeed no matter what their backgrounds. He received a Bachelor in Business Administration, summa cum laude, from the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. He also finished his college degree in two and a half years, thanks primarily to the international baccalaureate curriculum offered at Garland High School. Ladies and gentlemen, Trustee Mike Morath. Nos complace tener con nosotros esta noche como invitado distinguido al señor Mike Morath de la Junta Escolar de Dallas ISD, a quien invitamos a que nos diga unas palabras. All right. Good evening, everybody. I, uh, you know, I had a, I had a whole intro planned on the Hangover, but Priscilla took it from me, and uh, I, you know, my mastery of Spanish comes down to donde esta la biblioteca, so that's about all I can um, swing, I think. Uh, so Montserrat's got me as well, but I will, um, I'll try to keep it short and sweet here. Uh, you guys are graduating, so um, that's right. <laughs> so the end, the end of one chapter of your life begins the beginning of another, and this is a um, it's a pretty critical chapter because what is happening with your education today is everybody in this room thinks that your education is over, um, but life's about to get very real for all of you. Uh, because your education is really just about to begin. What I, what I want to talk today specifically about, though, is failure. Because all of you have succeeded at this particular task that's been assigned to you, but you've got a lot more to, to come in front of you. I'm only about 16 years older than y'all, but uh, I happen to be retired. Uh, I don't have to work anymore. I've 
sold my business, I, I, I've done pretty well for myself. And the reason that that is, is because I'm not afraid of failure. And it's, it's pretty critical that each one of you sort of embrace failure, revel in failure, smell it, and, uh, live it, let it be absorbed into your pores. Because 10 years ago, I didn't have two nickels to rub me, between my, uh, my, my fingers. I had to eat CC's pizza, and I would actually stay in the CC's for like four or five hours so I could get two or three meals out of the deal. Um, I, you know, I'm living off of ramen noodles and, and, and rice. Uh, I had started a company, and the company failed. Uh, it failed sort of miserably. It failed catastrophically, and there were people after me for all kinds of money. Um, and with that failure, you know, the stench of failure, you lie um, face down in your own failure. But the thing is, is that we all fail. Every one of us will. Every one of you will fail. It's, it's pretty much a guarantee because we're all fallen, flawed individuals. The question is, what happens after your failure? What do you do to pick yourself up? What do you do to, to, to strike out one more time? And I started another company, and that's the reason I'm here today. So what I'd like to stress to you is that the next 10 years of your life, this is when the magic happens. This is when every major decision um, that you're going to make, you're going to make. And this is when at, you're at your prime. If you look at every Nobel laureate, um, every Nobel laureate in physics, virtually every one of them won that prize with work that they did before they hit 35. All of the grand entrepreneurs in this world started their businesses b between 25 and 35. This is your time and you've, you've got to work at it. But you can't be afraid of failing because the life that you are going to live is the life that you carve out for yourself. You've got to be the change that you want to be in this world. So what I would say to you is, is you know, a little tidbit from my own college experience. Never let the classroom interfere with your education. Your teachers might not like that advice, but that's pretty, pretty important. Um, and uh, if you're lucky enough to stumble across a purpose that is grander than your own, if you're lucky enough to wake up one morning and have a reason to live that is something other than the fact that you didn't die the night before in your sleep, that's the life that you want to live. So good luck, God bless. At this time, we will have a musical selection rendered by our faculty and students to be led by our own Mr. Franks.
In youth, we learn. In age, we understand. It's one of my favorite quotes written by Marie von Ebner Eckenbach, an Austrian author. When we're young, we only look at the things and question them. We try to understand them, but can't really explain. We believe we do already, but we don't. The older we get, the more experienced we are. You have seen a whole lot more by then. When we are young, we may not understand the advice or lessons that others teach us. But when we grow up and see for ourselves, we understand why we were taught and what we were taught. And when we get old, then we realize that we didn't understand everything at all, and there's still much to learn and to absorb. We learn, we relearn, and we sometimes unlearn. That's what education is all about. How many times have you said to yourself, if only I knew what I know now when I was young? Yes, older folks do tend to do that, even your teachers. If you are still young, you probably think you still have plenty of time. Well, surprise, class of 2011, you don't. And this is the part where your principal will give you advice. I say, don't waste your youth growing up. There is much to do in this world than to take care of your own little cuts and bruises. Yes, the world is harsh out there. The dwindling economy, the rise of college tuition, healthcare reform and the politics of education, the scarcity of employment and jobs, higher gas prices, the unsettling security of our country, and the peace and order of nations. All of these you will face as you bid goodbye to the halls of North Dallas High School. There will be no Mr. Ellis nor Mr. Schenevert to give you a chance to turn in late work in college. There will be no Ms. Dixon to write you a referral or ask for a parent conference. No Mr. Clayton to hear your attendance appeals. No more counselors to give advice whenever you're perplexed. No Miss Julieta Rea to help you fill out financial aid and scholarship forms. Brace yourselves as you enter another milestone in your lives. Be strong, be brave, be humble, be good. The fountain of youth is in your mind. Your talents and the creativity you bring in your life and the lives of the people you love. You are young. The world is yours to explore. To the class of 2011, I say to you, welcome to the grown-up world. As principal of North Dallas High School, I, Dina Escanilla, do hereby certify that these graduates have met all the requirements for graduation as required by the state law and policies of the Dallas Independent School District and that they are qualified to receive their diplomas. The diplomas will now be presented. Como directora de North Dallas High School, yo, Dina Escanilla, certifico que estos candidatos han cumplido con todos los requisitos de graduación como lo requiere la ley estatal 
y las normas del Distrito Escolar Independiente de Dallas y reúne los requisitos necesarios para recibir sus diplomas. Ahora se presentarán los diplomas. Monsaret Moncada. Priscilla Monroy. LaShawn Stewart. Juan Carlos Martinez. Brenda Lopez. Roberto Carlos Aguilar. Mirta Lisbeth Calderón. Nelly Jazmín Cervantes. Joanna Sara Lee Garcia. Maria Nguyen. Leila Prasik. Marta Amarani Rodriguez. Valeria Sainz. Maribel Alonso. Alfredo Andrade. Crystal Arias. Daphne Yamale Ayala. Beatriz Bravo. Andrew Brown. Andrea Campos. Yasenia Cárdenas. David Alejandro Cardona. Elizabeth Cordova. Karina Isabel Cortez. Carmela Cuevas. Bertha de Julián. Janet Domínguez. Liliana Iguía. Elaine Cruz Enriquez. Jonathan Christopher Fluker. Marla Galavis. Freddy Garcia. Rosie Gaitan. Oromo Gishow. Maria Antonia Gomez. Soila Gonzalez. Alejandra Guerrero. Joseph Nathan Harvey. 
Ashley Taylor Heron. Asusana Hernandez. Roberto Rosendo Hernandez. Leslie Herrera. Kevin Mark Hubbard. Delilah Jimenez. Gabriela Jimenez. Dante Navash Johnson. Bailey Leanne Jones. Rithi Sunny Lynn. Gabriela Lopez. Priscilla Lopez. Sarah Luera. Maria Soledad Lule. Cynthia Denise Mariscal. Esmeralda Martinez. Jasmine Simone McCuller. Catarina Medina. An Wen. Bitla Wen. Hong Wen. Embracia M. Brown. Torin Patterson. Alejandro Perez. Melissa Isabel Perez. Kiosha Shante Perry. Gerardo Puente. Bianca Rocio Ramirez. Leslie Ramirez. Cristina Reyes. Tomás Reina. Devin Robert Ritter. Yadira Araceli Rodriguez. Ronnie Samat. Francisco Sanchez.
Teresita Sánchez. Aisha Cipuentes. Shenandoah Lachelle Smith. Sabino Solis Jr. Gabriel Soto. Stephanie Nicole Tejerina. Cindy Toledo. Myra Trujillo. Karina Vasquez. Pedro Vasquez. Alberto Vega. Miguel Antonio Zurita. Antonio Acevedo. Jose Guadalupe Acevedo. Edward Acosta. Juan Carlos Sanchez. Laura Rebecca Sanchez. Jose Raúl Ávila. Jeremy Aldrich. Andrew Armstead. Rosendo Antonio Aguilar. Alan Alexander Ivar. Julio Cesar Barraza. Ulysses Barron. Ana Maria Barutia Vasquez. Eric Javier Bautista. Francisco Bautista. Ginny Fernanda Beltrán. David Benitez. Shelby Marie Bennett. Lucero Bentancourt. Kendall Lynn Black. Omar Bringas. Jalen Claude Brown. Marquis Emmanuel Brown. Efren Calderon.
Rafael Cordoso. Miguel Careño. Joel Castañeda. Natalie Inés Ceja. Portillo Nicolás Celes. John David Chavez. Joana Coronado. Adeline Lupita Cortez. Araceli Cruz. Guillermo Cruz. Salvador Dávila. Brenda Leticia Delero. Christian Samuel Dorantes. Joquen Dai. McQuay LaRoyce Edwards. Isaac Enriquez. Fernando Escobar. Kevin Fay. James Barnett Foot. Carlos Alberto Galeana. Antonio Cristian Garcia. Jesús Martín Garcia. Gabriel Jacob Garcia. Jose Garcia. Miguel Garcia. Velma Garza. Joanna Elizabeth Gill. Luis Emilio Gomez. Yasenia Gonzalez. Manuel Roberto Guerrero. Joana Espinosa. Jacqueline Elvira Guerrero Mendez. Alma Rosa Gutierrez. Raimundo Miguel Gutierrez. Patsy Joyce Hall.
Coquiz Danielle Henderson. Clarissa Hernandez. Marquis Johnson. Liliana Hernandez. Melvin Horn. Javier Alonso Huerta. Eric Putron. Flor Liliana Hasso. Kiana Manning. Maria Jose Manzanero. James Dale Laxton. Luis Angelo Leja. Etzanet Susel Lima. Maria Yanito. Juana Lopez. Claudia Janet Lopez. Eddie Lopez. Yahaira Suley Lopez. Jezebel Lopez. Mauricio Lopez. Cristian Fernando Loredo. Mario Lozano. Ricardo Lugo. Dimitri Mack. Maria Yasenia Mancenero. Michael J. Marquez. Cecilia Gabriela Martinez. Enrique Ángel Martínez. Esmeralda Martínez. Fernando Freddy Martínez. Joe Christopher Martínez. Joshua Josue Martínez. Maile Martinez. Victor Martinez. Ivan Medel.
Javier Medina. Lian Maria Mejia. Lisa Maria Mejia. Gustavo Mendez. Carlos Daniel Mendoza. Alexia Valencia Mombo. Viviana Montes. Daisy Morales. Andy Moreno. Manuel Moreno. Oscar Murillo. Benny Neal. Jimmy Scott Wynn. Tuan Wynn. Simon Nolasco. Stacy Lorraine Jones. Jose Guadalupe Ortiz. Margarita Osorio. Summer Owens. Crystal Pace. Chantel Alma Pereira. Albert De Jesus Perez. Johnny Perez. Brianna Cashel Phillips. Charles Robert Poe. Hermalindo Flores Ponce. Eduardo Puga. Laura Vanessa Quesada. Joanna Quintero. Leonardo Ramirez. Máximo Antonio Ramirez. Sasha Ramirez. Stacy Ramirez. Ricardo Ramos.
Diana Belen Rayas. Sal Ad Adrián Requejo. Felix Abraham Reyes. Samantha Valerie Robertson Knox. Samantha Nicole Robredo. Fabian Rodriguez. Edith Rodriguez. Luis Enrique Rodriguez. Daniel Alejandro Rojas. Humberto Salazar. Alicia Noel Sosa. Jacob Simpson. Benito Santa Maria. <laughs> Teresa Alejandra Santana. Eric Santa Banis. Jacoris Termel Scott. Oswaldo Tapia. Mario Omar Torres. Juliet Tang. Johnson Trump. Yasmin Trujillo. Araceli Varela. Guadalupe Susana Vasquez. Rithi Noen. Rathi Noen. Monique Esperanza Chapa. Jumbo Fong. Jorge Antonio Vega. Salim Manuela Vidal. Otros. Ana Karen Velavia. Monisha Nicole Ward. Ladedrick Jamel Washington. Dyron Weaver. Laquendrick Rashawn Wiley. Michelle Diane Willis. Toiliska Tashel Tar Wichick. Edward Witherspoon.
Joyce Jose Yi. Eric Dwayne Green. Soraya, Soraya de Laila Jimenez. Victor Carmona. Janoris Lee Bull. Lisa Andrews. Terrence Washington. Bertha Amelia Vasquez. Brandon Jaramillo. Quaylen Larry Morgan. Taylor Jarrett. Jorge Ambriz. Albert Rios. Leonardo Meadows. At this time, I would like to recognize all graduates who have been awarded scholarships. Please stand. I am proud, I am proud to announce that as of this day, the class of 2011 garnered 2.5 million of scholarships. I would like to recognize any graduates who have enlisted in one of the branches of the military. If you have enlisted to serve, please, please stand at this time. We are all grateful for your willingness to serve our country. Will the class of 2011 please stand and remain standing for the confirmation. Of North Dallas High School, I now offer acceptance on behalf of the class of 2011. You may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to call Juan Martinez for the closing remarks, and Ashley Theron to lead the singing of the alma mater. Juan. Good afternoon. To our parents, guardians, friends, and the North Dallas High School learning community, we, the class of 2011, sincerely thank you for your support. And to the class of 011, the poet Robert Frost said it best regarding our decision to stay in school. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere 
ages and ages hence, two roads diverge in the wood. And I took the one less travel by. And that has made all the difference. Thank you. Ashley will lead the singing of our alma mater. Thank you. 